I was born in Venezuela, but I'm a Californian in the heart too. So <laughs> I'm, um, I'm an engineer in agronomy and also uh, got a master's degree from UC Davis in the Viticulture and Enology Department. And uh, we're here to explain a little bit about our farming approach. Um, one thing we consider very important is the experience that over the years we have gained uh, farming uh, these uh, excellent sites. Um, we're here at Gaps Ground and we're looking at a panel of the uh, Pinot Noir A2A uh, clone. It's, it's an excellent clone in terms of, of growing, in terms of the characteristics that offer for the, for the grower, good producer, very stable. And uh, uh, also something that we take uh, very seriously into account is the, the side we, we work with, with these panels. Uh, it's noon time and we still have sunshine on the so-called morning side of the vines. That means that probably two more hours of very hot sun is going to be laying on this side. So we try to play along with climate, with the row orientation, with the side, and work on the right side of the vine, so to provide more protection and avoid too much exposure, exposure to, the, to the clusters. Very important too is the irrigation and fertilization regime that we apply. Um, we monitor almost on a daily basis the water stress using different techniques, soil moisture, uh, leaf water potential and the observation of the vines which is at the very end the most important of all of them and we try to uh, impose some stress level uh, not too much so we could slow down the vines at the right time and uh, provide that those perfect conditions for the uh, development of the flavor profiles which always occur uh, prior to, to beraison, and beraison being the onset of the, of the fruit maturation. Um, we'll probably see that coloring of the fruit starting uh, in about two weeks. And this is a time in which uh, water stress is very important. These berries are very are going to become very sensitive to water stress, and we need to play along with day temperatures, with uh, the conditions, with the uh, amount of um, uh, fog that we got in the morning, to play with all those factors. The other thing important is the vine nutrition. Uh, for us, we like to uh, monitor year after year uh, using tissue samples, perial samples, uh, the level of, of nutrition that our vines have. It's just like uh, a person needs to be at the right range on the different uh, uh, conditions. And as you can see, this canopy is almost optimal. The, the degree of green in these leaves uh, is for sure providing a, a maximum, optimum amount of uh, carbohydrate food for the developing fruit. So with this weather we're enjoying so far this season, we hope to start our harvest uh, sooner this year and be able to provide our customers with the best quality uh, this vineyard can provide.